Hello and welcome to another analytical video. Uh, in this video, we are going to be implementing Microsoft Clarity onto your website, your website, so that you can get heat map and session recording insights and, you know, just then rule the world because you know all the knowledge in the entire world at that point about your website. So buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride into Microsoft Clarity implementation. Okay, let's dive in. So I am now at Microsoft Clarity. Um, I typed in clarity.microsoft.com slash projects, and uh, I'm going to select a new project. Um, you're going to get this pop-up that says add new project with this beautiful computer, which reminds me of what I'm on right now, which is very helpful. Uh, now I'm going to put in the name of my project. So this is going to be the Universal Sunset Rock Opera project. Uh, which actually exists, and you should look it up. Um, it's my rock and roll album. Um, and then we're going to put in the URL and add a new project. So once we have a new project, um, it's going to ask us how we want to implement that project. So you have uh, a couple of different options. You can share the code with a developer. Um, and um, so if you would prefer somebody else to do it, which is totally fine. You can be confident in your abilities. And if you know that this is not one of them, uh, just share it with a developer. Share it with anyone you know. Um, and maybe they'll be able to do it. Don't share with me, though. I won't do it for you. Um, but you would click this share code, and then it will give you uh, the um, uh, a way to basically just send an email to them, and it'll tell them how to implement it. Um, it we, however, are going to be uh, focusing on actually installing it ourselves. That's why you're here and not just, you know, getting somebody else to do this for you. So the first thing uh, to note is that there's two different options. You can install it manually or install it on a third party platform. Um, I like to install it manually because um, the way we're going to be doing it is going to give us a little bit more control um, than if you were to just go through an integration. So, um, but I'll show you both methods. So the first thing we're going to do here is click this get tracking code. Um, and the, what you'll notice about this is it gives us the script and there's a couple of things that we could do with that script. Um, we could implement that directly in the head of the website. Um, and you know, that, that would work for us, but, um, this isn't 2001. Uh, so we are going to use Google tag manager. Uh, to add this. And you might be thinking to yourself, if you've already checked out the different um, options, well, there's already a Google Tag Manager uh, integration. Can't we just use that? And I'm going to say, yeah, but then you wouldn't have the level of control that I'm going to show you that we have. Um, and so um, really all we need here is this project ID. And you can find the project ID in multiple different places. You can find it in this code, um, or you could even find it in the URL above here. And this is going to be the thing that we need uh, to get it into Google Tag Manager. Um, so if we add it to Google Tag Manager, the first thing you can do here is you're going to click New um, and click a tag. And you're going to go into this community template gallery, and you're going to find Microsoft Clarity. Um, and there's the Microsoft Clarity uh, official template, which is actually by Microsoft. And then there's the Microsoft Clarity template by Luratic. And they're slightly different right now. Um, the one that is the official one um, is, a, uh, is, is fine and it will get you, um, you know, up and running uh, and you'll have access to heat maps and, and session recordings. Uh, but the Clarity uh, Luratic one um, gives us a little bit more features, which I'll go into in a different video, but I like to use this one. So you're going to add this um, to the your community templates and you would click add template in here. Uh, I have already added it. Um, so I'm just gonna click choose template and it's going to ask me for my uh, Clarity project ID. I'm going to put that in and uh, this is where we can see that we'll have more controls. We have this advanced option dropdown, and this is where we can add custom tags or specify if cookies should be set or not, or add different identifiers like user IDs or session IDs. So this, this is pretty um, important 
um, to really getting the most out of your Microsoft Clarity. Uh, so I would highly suggest uh, going with the Lura Tic Tag um, template for now uh, until you know Microsoft makes some adjustments to thirds. So I would uh, just add this in Google Tag Manager. Um, I would put in, uh, just label this Microsoft Clarity and uh, click all pages uh, so that it's on everything. Save it, click submit, and then uh, you know label this Microsoft Clarity and then publish. And once we do that, it would go live and uh, Clarity would be up and running on your website at that point. As long as Google Tag Manager is on your website, if Google Tag Manager is not on your website, then you have bigger problems. So don't come running to me. Uh, so uh, for now, I'm going to delete this. And we're going to do the other way as well. So if we decide that we don't want to go through uh, the process of um, setting things up manually in Google Tag Manager, we can also just click back here and go into view all platforms, look, um, go into the Google Tag Manager uh, integration, connect with your Google Tag Manager account, go through that process, and then it will ask you what account you wanna add it to. Um, and so find your account, find your container, and then create and publish. And what that will do is it will, we'll, we'll, we'll go back into Google Tag Manager real quick, just so that you can see um, what happened. Um, so now when I refresh in Google Tag Manager, I will see that there is the Microsoft Clarity official um, tag. Uh, however, it's not the community template, it's just the script, right? So it just added the script to our website. Um, which is fine. Again, that's fine. It's just if we want to uh, use any of the richer features, um, we would want to have that other tag template. So um, that's how you implement uh, Microsoft Clarity onto the website. And now when we go back to Clarity, um, you know, once we get into the, uh, you know, the, the final setup, um, and as we start getting some data, um, we'll be able to use the dashboard and recording so you can see that one user is online right now, which is me, and I'll be able to watch, watch that session uh, and we'll start to be able to get that data in there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the implementation of Microsoft Clarity and now you're ready to take over the world. Thanks for watching this analytical video on Microsoft Clarity implementation. Be sure to watch the next one on how to, what the settings are, you know, settings. Thanks for watching this analytical video on Microsoft Clarity implementation. Now I'm gonna sing you a quick Microsoft Clarity implementation song. Microsoft Clarity, it's a great implementation. Great. Now that you've seen that, keep watching more of my tutorial videos. Thanks for watching this analytical tutorial video on Microsoft Clarity implementation. Be sure to watch the next one, whatever that may be. Help your career at analytical.